Choosing the correct shock length is extremely important to make sure you get the proper ride quality and handling that you're looking for. When it comes to a custom application, we really need to measure the shock length at the desired ride height. And for this, we simply need to measure from the upper shock mount to the lower shock mount. You really don't even need the shock in the car. And this holds true whether we're doing shock absorbers, coilovers, or air suspension. BrightTech offers all kinds of different shock lengths and mounting styles to suit your custom application. Measuring these is pretty simple. On an eye-to-eye -eye shock, you're simply going to measure from center bolt to center bolt. On coilovers, with a stud mount, we will mount from the center eye on the bottom up to the frame mounting surface right here between these Delrin ball halves. On a smooth body eye mount shock, we will measure from center eye to center eye. On a stud mount shock, those actually measure from the center of the eye up to the first washer at the bottom of the bottom bushing. So the first thing you want to do is set the vehicle at the desired ride height. This is the height that you intend to drive the vehicle down the road at. Uh, you can do that by putting blocks between the chassis and the frame uh, or by uh, jacking the chassis up until you get the desired stance you're after. So we just need to measure the distance from the center line of the upper shock mount to the center line of the lower shock mount. And you can see here we have a ride height of about 14 and a half inches. So now that we know the ride height we're after is 14 and a half inches, we need to find a ride tech shock absorber that is going to be about 60% stroke at that ride height. Uh, here with me I have our 5.2 inch stroke shock and this guy fully extends at about 16 and a half inches and fully collapses at about 11 and a quarter, uh, which puts us right in that sweet spot at our 14 and a half inch ride height. After the coilover shocks are installed, the next step is to set the preload. Uh, that is done with the nut on the bottom of the spring. And you simply want to keep cranking that dude up until you get the vehicle back to that 14 and a half inch ride height. Adding preload to the coilover spring is a lot easier if you can get some of the vehicle weight off the spring first. After adjusting, remeasure your shock mounts to see if you're at the desired ride height. Setting the ride height with the shock wave is even easier. You just simply need to add air pressure until you get to your desired ride height. So as you can see, with a few simple measurements, we can easily select the proper shock length for your custom application. However, if you need any assistance, just give us a call.